Hello everyone, it's Richard Sanya from DG Vaishnav College and today in this video we will discuss and demonstrate how to use Avogadro in order to understand the concept of aromaticity in which a very important uh, concept that is the planarity of the molecule is involved yes you know that in aromaticity we have around three conditions for a molecule to be aromatic it must obey three conditions one the molecule must be cyclic planar and it should obey 4n plus 2 pi electron rule that is your Huckel's rule so see the first two things that is the molecule should be cyclic and planar so planarity of the molecule is very important in order for a molecule to have aromatic behavior right okay this flow chart will help you determine whether your molecule is aromatic non-aromatic or anti-aromatic so you can justify uh, by posing some examples uh, to this flowchart by asking certain questions to your molecule okay let's go with the first example i'll take a very simple example that is the benzene which you are already aware of we know that the benzene molecule is cyclic planar and it obeys all the aromaticity rule and it is aromatic we know it normally let's justify with this flowchart by asking the valid questions to the molecule the first question is that does the Lewis diagram imply a loop of pi electrons yes in benzene you can see there is a loop of pi electron because it takes place in resonance so you get a loop of pi electron yes the answer is yes you ask the next question is the number of electrons in the implied loop of pi electron equal to 4n plus 2 or 4n see in benzene you have 6 pi electrons you have 3 pi bond with 6 pi electrons right yes so it see here 4 into 1 plus 2 yes it obeys 4 and plus 2 rule so answer is 4 and plus 2 so I go here now you have to ask another question are there any fact factors that force the ring out of planarity yeah no so in benzene you don't have any factor you don't have any other groups present or something to change or to deviate from planarity so there is no force which deviates the ring from planarity so the answer is no and see your benzene molecule is aromatic which you get from this flowchart so by all these rules you get it right okay let's go with the other example i go with the cyclooctatetraene okay so let me proceed with the same thing now does the lewis diagram imply a loop of pi electron yes you see it has loop of pi electrons right so it involves in resonance and it has a loop of pi electron and answer is yes now ask the next question whether it obeys 4n plus 2 or 4n rule here you have totally 4 pi bond so it is 8 pi electrons right 8 pi electron represents 4n system correct 4n system that is 4 2s are 8 no so you have 4n system so I go here ask the next question is the ring large enough to deviate from planarity see yes the ring is large enough to deviate from planarity how you can say that see experimentally it has been found that the cyclooctatetraene even though if you write it like a planar structure it is not planar it is having a non-planar conformation because the ring is large enough to deviate from planarity so uh, experimentally it has found that it has a non-planar conformation that is you can call it as a tub form see so the ring is large enough so it deviates from planarity see yes the answer is yes it deviates from planarity and the molecule is non-aromatic see for aromaticity the condition is the molecule should be cyclic planar and must obey 4n plus 2 pi electron rule right here you can see that it obeyed uh, cyclic and you saw it is having 4n system then it should fall under anti-aromatic right it should have fallen in anti-aromatic but the second point that is the planarity of the molecule changes the nature of the molecule the property of the molecule see you thought it it should be anti-aromatic because it obeys 4n system but the planarity is deviated the molecule deviates from planarity so it is non-planar and it cannot be aromatic 
it cannot be anti aromatic so the only option you get is it is a non aromatic compound yes so how you tell this is non aromatic you can uh, understand this concept from with your avogadro how so now we will be demonstrating an example in the avogadro i'll just try to draw the cycloocta tetraene in my avogadro software and i'll see how it is changing its geometry okay so we will demonstrate it now so i draw my uh, cycloocta tetraene in avogadro so you know it's already so say so click the carbon okay and you just drag so for cycloocta tetraene you need eight carbon atoms right so you just drag click and drag click and drag and connect all the eight atoms yes all eight are connected now place the double bonds click over the bonds so that you can generate double bonds yes now you have to adjust for hydrogens click that and you just click on each carbon and you can add the hydrogens yes so the hydrogens are added now okay now i do optimize i select mmff94 phosphyl since it's an organic molecule click start and see it is optimizing but when you optimize you see that it is uh, like having only the planar geometry right planar geometry now what i do i just give a little distortion a little disturbance to the molecule and see how you will uh, get the changes in your molecule see i just use the auto rotate tool and just rotate and show you how it is changing see as it is optimizing you can see all the bonds see how the ring is deviating from planarity when i give a slight distortion see so you can infer that your cycloocta tetraene molecule is not planar see it is deviating from planarity see how it is deviating so i'll just rotate and show you a little more yeah see now you can see it is acquiring a tub shape right so it has acquired a proper tub shape as we discussed in the slides see wow that's great see uh, the after optimization it's not planar and it is having a tub shape so this is how you will understand the concept of planarity so you can visualize it clearly using your avogadro software so for all the molecules you can just try using this uh, avogadro software uh, to determine whether a molecule is planar or not okay thank you